All right, you guys, if you could please turn to the page in your notes that looks like this, 1.2, use segments and congruence. All right, we're just going to go over a few vocab terms to start. Postulates and axioms. These are rules that are accepted without proofs. They're just facts that people just accept, even though there is no proof for them. On the contrary, a theorem is a rule that can be proved. All right. A coordinate, um, when I refer to the coordinates of a particular point, this is what I'm talking about. This point here, the coordinates are 2, 3. This is also called an ordered pair. On this number line, the coordinate is negative 2. So it's the number that corresponds with a particular point. Okay? Okay. Distance. If you were to try to find the distance between two points, say, um negative 2 and 3. Ah. The distance would be if you were to subtract these two numbers and take the absolute value. Okay, between. Uh, you guys kind of already have an idea of what between means. In geometry, when I say a point is between two other points, it means that those three points are collinear and that point is in the middle. I'll draw a picture. So here, because A, B, and C are collinear, that means they make a straight line, B is between A and C. If B was over here somewhere, I could not say that B is between A and C. Okay? All right. Congruent segments. Segments are congruent if they have the same length. All right. Postulate one. Ruler postulate. Now remember, a postulate is a rule that everyone just accepts without proof, okay? The points on a line can be matched one-to-one -one with real numbers. The real number that corresponds to a point is the coordinate of the point. Okay? The blank between points A and B written as AB is the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of A and B. Now if you look up here, it's the difference. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Measure the length of CD to the nearest uh, tenth of a centimeter. Okay, so they already give us the ruler. Align one mark of the metric ruler C with C, then estimate the coordinate of D. For example, if you align C with, align C with 1, D appears to align with, looks like 4.7. Okay, so the difference, the distance between them would be, 4.7 minus 1, which is about 3.7. So the length of CD is about 3.7 centimeters. All right, posture 2, the segment addition posture. This is actually a posture that we will, we will be using a lot. It says that if you have three points like this, and let's say that this segment was three inches and the segment was two inches. You could add those two segments together and say the whole thing is five inches. Okay? So, for example, the location shown line a straight line. Find the distance from the starting point to the destination. Okay, so SD is this segment plus this segment. Now, remember, when you're naming segments, you use two letters, so SD is going to be SR plus RD. That's the segment addition postulate. You can add these two pieces together to get the whole thing. Now, in the diagram, it says that SR is 64 miles. And RD is 87 miles. So I'm going to substitute those numbers for SR and RD. Oop. 
64 plus 87, let's see here, that's 151, I believe. Okay, so the distance from the starting point to the destination is 151 miles. All right, let's go on to page three. Example three, find the, uh, use the diagram to find KL. All right, so in this case, the whole thing is 38. It doesn't give us the units. This piece is 15. We need to find the rest of it. Now, the segment addition postulate says, JL is equal to JK plus KL. That's the segment addition postulate. We know, according to the diagram, that JL is 38. And JK is 15. So I'm going to substitute those two numbers for JL and JK. Now, if I subtract 15 from both sides, this cancels out, and I'm left with 23, and I subtracted 15 from both sides. So KL is 23. All right, example four. Plot these four points in the coordinate plane. So let's do that first. Let's see here. Four, five would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'd be here. Ah. This is point F. G is negative 1, 5. Ah. H is 3, 3, and J is 3, negative 2. Okay? Then determine whether F, G, and J, H are congruent. Okay, so here's F, G. And here's J, H. Ah. Imagine that's straight. Okay. The horizontal segment, I'm going to subtract. This is negative 1. And this is 5. Or, sorry, 4. So... I'm going to subtract the x-coordinates of the endpoints. In this case, 4 minus negative 1 minus, uh, minus negative becomes positive. 4 plus 1 is 5. The vertical segment, this is 3 and this is negative 2, I'm going to subtract the y-coordinates of the endpoints. So 3 minus negative 2. Once again, minus negative becomes a positive. So they're both 5 units long. So FG and, J and uh, HJ have the same length. And if you remember, segments that have the same length are congruent. This little symbol means congruent. Okay? All right, checkpoint. I'd like you guys to go ahead and do this on your own. Um, for number one, you don't have a ruler, so I'll just tell you it's about one and seven eighths of an inch. Okay? But these two you guys should be able to do. Okay? That's it.